Hello everyone, a warm welcome from the team at Cordo for this webinar, today's webinar presented by Tamput. And first of all, I would like to thank you all for participating in today's session. I'm Pooja and I'm working as an admissions manager for Cordo. See, we are happy to know that many of you are interested in growing your business by learning about the latest insights in the national education scene. And before I begin, let me mention a couple of reminders. We'll open the Q&A session for you, but meanwhile, you can submit your questions in the Q by clicking the Q&A button on your screen. In addition to that, I would like to tell you that there's a link in your chat box that you can use to complete your information, and one of our colleagues will be uh, responding to you shortly. Now, coming to MSM Unify, uh, let me tell you something about MSM. MSM Unify is an international education marketplace actually the largest in the making that empowers education institutes, agents, and students. We aim to unify student recruitment stakeholders and enable each one of you and your partner higher education institutes to collaborate on the online and to diversify your students and reach the world's inquisitive learners. I'm happy to share that this extensive AI-powered platform also assists in the full international student journey through thousands of programs, courses, study guides, and a discussion forum. We are pleased to offer them free of charge services to your students to achieve their goal of studying abroad. Epcoto. Epcoto is nothing but MSM Unified's dedicated recruitment network that provides well accredited agents, complete applications, and a global reach to our partner institutions. Through Epcoto, we strive to address common issues facing higher education institutes at different stages of the international recruitment fund. With well approved educated Epcoto agent institutions have access to various students across the globe. As we are recruiting all over the so if you want to learn more about Epcoto, you can just fill out the form with your details and one of our Epcoto representative will get back to you soon. Now, regarding today's webinar, let me introduce you all to our presenter, Selvina Berry, Sales Manager of TAM. Tambur College was launched in 2014 by Tambur International. This college is designed to provide vocational trainings to international students and it has been awarded SC Award winner as the best vocational college in Canada for the last two years. And to know more about Tambur, I would like to uh, get over to Selvina. So I will not take much time of yours. And over to you, sir. You can carry on. Thank you very much. Thank you for the introduction. And it's a great opportunity for me to be here today to share some information about our courses, our programs for work and study, um, our pathways programs, as we have great articulation agreements with public institutions and universities in Canada. And overall, if you have uh, anybody that also would like to attend uh, summer camps and programs within the family, there's always somebody small in the family. We also are a provider of that. That sort of course. So today the focus of the presentation um, is primarily careers program. So I'd like uh, to tell you a little bit about uh, Amwood. Um, let's see if my presentation goes. There we are. So Amwood International, um, just to give you a bit of the credentials of the company, who we are and our DNA is a company that started in 1993. Um, we are a combination of four different companies and they're all relevant in, in the introduction I'm going to make today because one supplements the other. So historically, the, com the company started with um, so uh, programs for juniors and teenagers, and this was back in 1993, and an extensive leg of those camps and activity programs was our language center. So for many, many years, we were delivering quality language programs for um, students that needed to learn English as a second language. But then the industry changed and the demand also changed, as you know, and then the careers programs in Canada became of um important prominence, especially because it, they provide the opportunity to its participants to work and study alongside. So they study part-time and they work part-time for a period of time until a period when they can work also full-time. And it's also a route towards immigration. So I'll be showing you all those details uh, throughout my presentation today. And then last but not least, uh, Go International um, is a sister company of, of Tamwood, and it is from where we support our participants with job 
search and uh, job placement. So it's our work and holiday uh, company uh, that pro- has a, pla- it's an on, it's like a LinkedIn uh, for participants that allows uh, them to do a job search and find the most competitive uh, jobs in, in Canada. So I will be telling you about that in a minute. So very, very briefly, um, as I mentioned, we'll be founded in 1993. Tamwood is a family business still owned by its original owners and founders, Tamsin Plaxton and Matthew Collingwood, hence the name Tamwood from Tamsin and Collingwood. And um, we are located in um, beautiful locations in Canada, in Vancouver, Whistler and Toronto. And uh, both uh, are designated learning institutions. This is a very important detail because uh, if if an institution is not a des- has not got a designated learning institution number, then you cannot go through your visa application. So we've got two different designated le- learning institutions: one in British Columbia, in Vancouver and Whistler, where these two uh, locations are. Uh, are placed, and the other one in on the Ontario province in Toronto for Toronto campus. So, just giving you a little bit of of an overview of how beautiful and how centrally located uh, our um, uh, premises are. We are in downtown Toronto, uh, in the heart of of the city. So, as you know, Toronto is known for being a business hub and it's very much sought by a lot of our participants who would like to do the international business and management course. And I will be telling you about that course in a minute. Uh, Then we have also our Vancouver campus in downtown Vancouver, also strategically located. It's also our head office. So this is where our admissions team, our academic team, all all the planning of Tamwood happens from uh, this center in downtown uh, Vancouver. And last but not least, um, you might not know that Whistler is one of the most prestigious uh, prestigious ski resorts in, in North America, particularly in Canada. It compares with Aspen, for example, in the United States. And it's a village that it was only created just 25 years ago. And, um, and it's at the bottom of that beautiful mountain that you can see on the foreground, which is Black Cone Mountain, which is one beautiful um, ski resort during the winter months, but it's also uh, a wonderful destination uh, when you want to go hiking, walking, cycling, and other uh, different uh, summer sports. The reason why I'm spending a little bit of time on Whistler, it's because it's the center where primarily our hospitality programs take place. And Whistler being a young village, is one that offers more jobs than people. So there are uh, on average two jobs uh, available per person. So um, when you come to Canada and if you decide to go for Whistler, jobs are guaranteed uh, in the village. So let's let's immerse ourselves in, in Tamworth careers and why a careers program versus a university degree. So when you finish your high school, you think, okay, the next step is um, uh, undergraduate uh, programs at a university or public institution. And you might have considered in the past um, countries like Australia because it all, they also offered the opportunity to work and study. But now with the pandemic, all the prominence has, prominence has shifted to Canada because Canada was one of the first uh, countries uh, in the world to get organized with the work uh, and study visas and enabled participants to come back sooner than later. So since October 2010-20, when the borders reopened, they have been, uh, we have been providing our career students with um, perhaps a, a quicker wa- a way to be work ready. So in a careers program, unlike a university program, and in Canada, you can work part-time while you are studying. So this makes you more work ready because while you are studying, you start getting work experience and this is good for your curriculum. We have a variety of of co-op programs with Practicum, uh, which is the component of uh, the careers program, enables students to work full-time and get experience on the 
on the theory they learned before. Students can work up to 20 hours a week part-time while they are studying. There's an open nationality quota in, in, our, in our program. So there is um, a very high uh, a percentage of um, students mixed from all over the world, from Latin America to the Far East. Um, students can choose any length of their program. So when you study at a university, you probably um, have to stick to a very strict um, and inflexible uh, study program. Whereas if you choose a vocational course at Tamwood, you can study for six months, you can study for 12 months, or you can even choose a dual D program, which is a opportunity to study two years. And I'll show you all that in a minute. And then um, it's also a more affordable uh, and cheaper way to traditional degree programs. And we have a more flexible um, intake criteria compared to a university. So what are our program offerings? We've got four different disciplines within Tamwood Careers. Three with co-op term opportunities and the last one without co-op, but still with the opportunity to study part-time or full-time, uh, uh, to work part-time or full-time while the students are studying. So um, the first three programs are with co-op are our School of Business, our School of Hospitality. And since March this year, we opened a new uh, school, which is the School of Technology, which has become of prominent um, interest worldwide, especially these days that in previous years, probably I would have come all the way to India to give this presentation face to face. These days, thanks to the support of uh, technological development, I'm here via Zoom. And last but not least, our School of Entrepreneurship, which is uh, for those that wish to start up a business from scratch, either at, back at home or in Canada. And there is an, a different uh, pathways um, and immigration route towards um, um, working and setting, uh, settling in Canada, which is through the uh, Canadian Startup Visa Scheme. And I'll tell you about in a minute. So... To recap on the program features that I previously presented for you, uh, Tamwood offers co-op programs with the opportunity to work and study all along. We have great pathways options because over the last year and a half now, we've been establishing very strong articulation agreements with public institutions and universities in Canada that um, acknowledge um, our programs. Uh, we have a very good and competitive credit rating transfer uh, scheme uh, that um, allows students to join a program uh, and save um, a year of tuition pretty much much. I'll tell you about it in, in a minute. Our fees are much more affordable than uh, the fees of a university. We are running very competitive promotions at the moment, and I'm sure the team at Opcado will uh, we be able to share further details about the promotions after my webinar. Flexible intakes because there are multiple start dates every month of the year. So a public institution probably will have, or a university will probably have four start dates in a year. We have monthly, depending on the program. And our admissions requirements are much more flexible because even though a lot of people in India speak English to um, native speaker level, sometimes um, there are some challenges with language and um, it's easier to join uh, us because if you were not have exactly the language level as it is required. We are also a language provider and we can provide our students with pathways programs to enhance their level of English. So, it's, and, but the last but not least, this is big news about, and what we have recently partnered with the Digital Marketing Institute, which means that the students can get certification within our careers programs um, from uh, the Digital Marketing Institute, which is a highly recognized international institute. And you can also get one year membership in uh, DMI, free of charge. So this is um, a complementary benefit that Tamwood uh, offers and it gives some insight into, um, for instance, working with um, learning about HubSpot, which is a CRM or Google Analytics for beginners. But all this is fantastic work experience and uh, 
academic knowledge in in market with market leaders and mark and, and brand leaders in in the work arena so structure of the course remember that earlier on in my presentation i mentioned that we have um, more flexible length of stays like uh, compared to a university and students can join us for six months or for 12 months or for even two years if they go for a dual diploma so let's go with the simplest of the structures so our tuition part of any career program is 24 weeks. So during those 24 weeks, the first 24 weeks, a student studies 20 hours a week. So that's part-time study. And uh, they can still work part-time up to 20 hours per week. So while they are uh, studying, they can start financing their stay uh, in Canada partially with part-time work of up to 20 hours per week. This means that, uh, for instance, if you're working in British Columbia in a place like Vancouver, um, the hourly rate is approximately 15 Canadian dollars uh, per hour. So it's, it's, it gives a salary perhaps of a thousand Canadian dollars a month, uh, which is... Uh, um, a good um, support uh, towards your cost of living. So then you can see there are two arrows. One, uh, um, completing a certificate program. So for those that don't want to stay in Canada for a very long time, uh, they can complete their careers program through a certificate, which finalizes after a three weeks capstone project. A capstone project is a sort of thesis based on the outcomes of the part of the tuition that they attended the first 24 weeks. So they have three weeks to prepare a presentation. And during those three weeks, the student is still eligible to work part-time up to 20 hours a week. The other uh, channel and the other route, and this is where I'm probably going to go to the next slide is the diploma, which is 24 weeks of tuition supported by 24 weeks of co-op term. And this is when the students embark themselves fully into the work practicum. And they also have um, the opportunity to continue working part-time up to 20 hours a week. So pretty much 40 hours of full-time employment uh, during a period of at least 24 weeks because this varies uh, from program to program and I'll show you about that in a minute. So, and as you can see on the pink bubbles, we are running at the moment a very, very, very competitive uh, promotion. Usually a program of this um, uh, caliber will cost around 12,000 Canadian dollars a year. Uh, uh, in a public institution, we are probably talking double or even more, triple uh, per year. Tambour now is running a very competitive promotion where the starting point of, a, of the pricing of our careers programs is as little as 6,695 with co-op term. Um, and, uh, and it's a promotion that expires at the end of December. So... After this presentation, you can run, run, run and consider our programs as well. So going a little bit deeper, and, and previously I mentioned that um, when uh, when uh, a part of our services is a launch pad services, because um, coming to a country that is not your own could be quite daunting at times and quite uh, worrying for a lot of people because you don't know what it's like to live in a country that is not your usual culture, from everyday life, from working life, food-wise, everything is different. So we give an orientation of what it's like to be working in Canada, to be living in Canada, where to find the hot uh, job lists, where to apply for part-time work, where to apply for full-time work. We provide students with support and assistance with all their documents from opening a bank account to getting a SIM card for their mobile phones. And also um, how to uh, write a CV, how to uh, pitch at an interview, how to present yourself professionally to potential uh, future employers. To do that, we have a sister company, Go International, which is the one I referred to at the beginning of, of, our, of my presentation, which is a platform where the students can uh, search for 
occupations in different uh, industries of different job types, part-time, full-time, temporary, uh, internship, au pair, and in different locations in Canada. So it's not just limited to where you are studying, but it can also when you want to continue your life in Canada, or probably you go and progress to study in a public institution in a different uh, province, province um, Go International is a platform that provides students support with finding a job. And at Tamwood, we, ha we run a number of hiring pairs as well. So sometimes they happen in the evening, sometimes they happen at the weekend, where we Im invite um companies and the HR department of uh, various companies in the region and our students have the opportunity to meet them, to present their CVs and sometimes they get even hired on the spot. Good, so and last but not least, uh, and this is also quite uh, an interesting um, uh, detail that I'd like to share with you. Um, I you remember that I mentioned at the beginning that you can join our programs for six months if you choose a certificate program, uh, for 12 months if you choose a careers program, or you can also uh, join for two years if you choose a diploma program. A differential, a unique selling point of Tamwood compared to other Canadian uh, private um, institutions and career colleges is that the majority of the diploma programs with our comp competitors take two years. Whereas at Tamwood, uh, the diploma programs take just one year, 24 work, uh, weeks of tuition plus 24 weeks of work practicum. This means that you can use your second year that you would have uh, used in a different uh, company for just one diploma to embark yourself in a second diploma, which provides the students with the opportunity to um, get a degree in two different disciplines, in two different areas or in areas that support each other. So I'm showing you, for instance, here an example of what would be like join a dual diploma program uh, um, at our Vancouver campus. So a student could do one year doing digital marketing or web development. And on completion of that diploma program, they can progress to a second diploma program on a discipline that supplements what they studied first. Now, the, the, the big plus here is the student has a choice either to do these two diploma programs back to back. So they start one, one year, and then the second one right away. Or uh, they might not, or you might not be aware that the Canadian government grants a break of up to 150 days for full-time work. So this uh, is an added benefit uh, to any uh, participant in Canada. Why? Because it provides them with additional work experience. You have a break to uh, earn a little bit more money during five months. That's why it's called a sort of five gap. Um, uh, and over these 150 days, if you have full-time employment of up to 40 hours a week, uh, earning $15 uh, um uh, an hour that probably potentially can give the participant around 1500 to 2000 Canadian dollars a month. And this is probably some sort of additional financial support to pay for the second diploma program or to finish paying the first diploma program. So as I mentioned before, now that we've got uh, our very competitive promotion of 6, 000, from 6,695 Canadian dollars for one program, for the price of, of, of one uh, full price, you can now get two diploma programs. So it's something to consider if you want to stay longer in Canada, if you want to gain um, a, more work experience. Plus, uh, last but not least, gaining at least 24 credits per program, which are transferable to a public institution. So if you end up with uh, 48 or 30 credits towards a public institution, this saves uh, a lot of the tuition fees because um, this um, will provide students the opportunity to progress to a public institution. And that is what is known as Tamwood Pathways programs. 
if you do what I told you before, a diploma program, say you do one diploma program, you can earn, tw earn 24 credits. And this makes you eligible for what is known an academic pathways option. So there are two ways of going through a pathways program. One is by doing it yourself. You have um, finished your high school back at home, um, um, you, and you can go. You've got you meet the academic criteria, uh, English wise, uh, for a public institution, and then you have direct entry to partner colleges and universities. The other way is to do it through Tamwood. Uh, which is a cheaper option because by embedding the Tamwood Career College, you can get 24 credits and this would save a participant one year of tuition fees at a public institution, which is roughly around a saving of around 25,000 Canadian dollars, which is quite a lot of money. So this is the way it goes. So you can complete a Tamwood Diploma Program. This is around 48 weeks, so that's one year. Then a partner institution recognizes the diploma and that is done with the support of our team. We've got a dedicated member of staff that supports you in your application to a public institution. Then the public institution in point three secures your admission with advanced standing. It means that whatever year you did at Tamwood is acknowledged. So you don't have to repeat that part of the course in the public institution. The 24 credits you would have earned are acknowledged by the public institution and it saves you one year of study, one year of tuition fees. On completing the second qualification at the public institution, this automatically makes a participant eligible to apply for PGWP, which stands for Postgraduate Working Permit. So I know I'm talking a lot and you might be having a lot of questions in between. So always remember to uh, type your question in the Q&A section. And then at the end of our presentation, we'll try to address all these questions together. So just to give you a little bit more of a timeline and, and why this is a very good route to immigration, uh, because at some point your English will be much better to a native speaker level. At some point, you will have had to sit the IELTS exam, so uh, so you probably will have at least a six six or six point five um, uh, result on IELTS, and all this is what makes a participant eligible for PGWP and ultimately to immigrate and get permanent residence in Canada. So um, in India, you don't need so much the first part of the ESL pathways program because you're, most of the participants already speak <coughs> good English to a native speaker level. So let's say we start with the second bubble, which is the Tamil career program, which is approximately between six to 12 months, depending on whether you choose a certificate or a diploma program with co-op term. Then a student gains up to 30 credits that can be transferred to a public institution. A public partner institution can provide a program between one to four years of study. And this makes the participant eligible to PGWP. And this leads to immigration. And in between time, you want break between study periods and have an 150 days of full-time work employment. That's also possible when you embark from one career program to another career program at Tamwood, should you choose that. Or if you don't want to do a second diploma program at Tamwood, no problem. You can go straight to a public institution, but you are still eligible to apply for this period of five months of 150 days of full-time work employment, which we highly recommend because this would give a participant additional work experience. And these are all points in your immigration marathon. So when you have to um, present your case to an immigration officer, and especially once in Canada, it's much easier than doing this from abroad, then you have stronger case by saying, I have work experience, I have an, a, 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 a degree in a certain discipline, um, I have sat the IELTS exam, my English is above 6 or 6.5. So all these are tick, 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 tick points that make a, a participant eligible for postgraduate working permit 
and towards permanent residence and ultimately citizenship in Canada. So where do you progress? You can progress to very uh, recognized and highly ranked institutions in Canada, like Capilano University, George Brown College, North Island College. These are some of the very many that some would have. So as you can see, our list is expanding in Canada. And if you want to uh, learn more about um, our partner institutions and what their discipline of specialization is, whether it's hospitality, whether it's technology, whether it's business, whether it's a different discipline altogether, then you can go through that link uh, at the bottom of this slide and you can read more about the location and the curriculum of these uh, recognized um, uh, partners of TAMU. So that's about careers. I, I just would like to last but not least give you some uh, brief introduction to our global startup school at Tamwood. Um, I'm going to make it quite quick uh, because I'm sure we have quite a lot of questions about the previous programs. But uh, And then perhaps we can coordinate a second webinar where I can embark myself in further detail about the Global Startup School, which is our School of Entrepreneurship. So in the School of Entrepreneurship is for those that wish to start a business from scratch and either immigrate to Canada through the Canadian Startup Visa Scheme or they want to bring back uh, their uh, developed idea uh, back home and set up the business back home. So um, the way it goes is um, we provide students with Diploma in Innovation and Entrepreneurship, which is um, a business plan. Uh, it's like um, an MBA, a master's in um, allowing uh, participants to design their own business from uh, scratch through writing the right business plan, marketing plan, uh, sales plan, human resources plan, communications plan. All these are areas that are required when submitting a business idea to an incubator that will then approve it. And then uh, this can then accelerate the process towards opening up a business in Canada. If you don't want to do it in Canada, then you can uh, progress to um, opening up a business in back, back home. Um, the structure of the course is slightly different from the other programs I mentioned to you before uh, because uh, they provide, uh, there isn't a co-op term in the Global Start Tab School. Having said that, we provide students with regular breaks so that they have the opportunity to also work full time. So they start their course one uh finish it after four weeks and immediately they have the opportunity to have a two-week break, which is what we call either reading breaks to do further research and study, or they can also just uh, decide to work full-time if they are employed. And um, there's also the opportunity in this course to uh, have full practicum term of up to eight weeks at the very end of the process, whereby we find the students an internship at a startup uh, company and they learn how to, uh, the ropes of the business uh, through a very hands-on experience. Um, so the structure of the study and work program in the Global Startup School is you work uh, and study uh, part-time 40 weeks, uh, and then you can have up to 16 weeks of full-time employment uh, with the optional of an additional eight weeks to um, have work experience in a true Canadian startup business. Um, the result and the unique experience is that you can launch your own startup back at home or decide to continue in Canada um, and immigrate uh, to Canada through the startup visa scheme. Um, so to immigrate with uh, the startup visa program, you have to have a viable business idea. Um, you can get accepted into a recognized incubator that TAM would um, provide support with or get an investment of up to 75,000 Canadian dollars from a Canadian investor. 
Uh, this uh, provides the participants with the opportunity to apply for a visa to stay permanently in Canada and um, connect you with key players in the startup business uh, community. So these are some of the examples of hands-on learning experience. You have uh, you are taught taught by entrepreneurs. Is entrepreneurs being taught by entrepreneurs? So there's a lot of mentoring and uh, pitch night training and um, inspirational talks to help students with their business idea and ideation. Um, these are some of uh, testimonials and examples of participants that successfully went through the program and now uh, are living in Canada uh, with the business that they learned to set up at Amwood. As you can see, this participant is slightly younger than this participant, which means there's no age limit. So when you go through the startup visa, it doesn't matter what age you are. The most important thing is that you have a viable business idea that an incubator would approve and will provide the opportunity to uh, start a business from scratch. And last but not least, I mentioned that Amwood also specializes in language programs. We've got language centers in Toronto, Vancouver and Whistler with programs that allow students to have um, either um, general English exam preparation, pathways programs or English for professionals. So if you want to go through the ski route, uh, we also have English preparation for uh, ski instructors and other sports like snowboard and bike and mountain biking. And then Tambor Camp, if you have any uh, little members in the family that want to do English plus activities, don't uh, forget that Tambor is also um, a company that provides uh, programs for students from the age of seven up to the age of 18. So in the summer months, we can have a wonderful uh, camp experience uh, with um, in Tambor in Canada. Uh, volunteering programs, last but not least, um, if you want to uh, embark yourself in any volunteering programs at Tamwood, we've got uh, very competitive programs in national parks, uh, preservation and conservation and beautification uh, programs at Lake uh, Louise Resort or Banff which are national parks in the area of Alberta. Um, but we also um, uh, support students with other programs that relate to animal rescue and uh, working with underprivileged um, and um, um, handicapped uh, learn children with learning disabilities as well. So, uh, why Tamwood? Because we pro provide you with the best academic transfer options for your customers. Remember, you can transfer up to 30 credits to a public institution and save fees um, and time uh, in Canada. We can provide you with the opportunity to apply for a startup visa program through our global startup school. Our School of Technology offers training for most in-demand career programs at the moment. There are great jobs available uh, uh, with logistics. Uh, uh, recently, Amazon opened headquarters in Vancouver. Um, so this uh, is uh, just jobs, 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 opportunities available for you guys. Great job <laughs> with co-op uh, students. Hiring fairs at our schools, a great list of uh, uh, very high demand jobs uh, that allow students to work part-time over their study period or full-time during their co-op term. And this is all uh, ways that allow students to also consider immigration to Canada. So while I'm not a visa specialist and if there are lots of questions in the chat box about immigration, I might not be able to reply to all of them or any of them, but what I have given you is uh, tools and ideas and uh, supporting uh, inspiration uh, for you to consider the opportunity to come to Canada, study in Canada, and who knows, one day become a Canadian uh, citizen. So um, this is me. Um, this is all uh, I have to share. I thank you very much for your time. And now we move on to questions, if you have any questions. Will you be sharing this presentation with us? Yes, I will. Yes, I will be sharing the presentation. And Absolutely. one question from my side, what would be the application process? 
The application process is very simple. Um, you just need to uh, submit the application uh, through our online link that I will share with you also uh, later on. Um, you have to fill it, uh, fill the form, provide a copy of your passport, um, uh, provide a copy of your high school certificate, and then your choice of date, and then the process is very, very simple. So thank you so much for your valuable time. No, you're welcome. You're very welcome.